and I am going to do something I've been meaning to do for a bit. Another review. This one's very special to me. This will be my review for the new Converge album, The Dusk in Us. Um, right off, going into this album when it arrived the day before release day, I had listened to none of the streams. They released a seven inch of, um, I Can Tell You About Pain and a song called Eve uh, earlier in the year. And I didn't listen to that. I listened to none of the songs, went into it wholeheartedly, fresh, which is how I want to go into albums that I'm extremely excited about. And did the same thing with Incendiary earlier in the year. And, uh, I'm so glad I did because sitting down and taking in this album all at once from start to finish, it was just, it was an amazing experience. And, um, yeah, they're a fantastic song on this album. This is definitely some of my favorite, uh, material to come out of this, what, second half of Converge's career. Um, they started off as a very different band in 1990. Um, very more like harsh uh, metalcore, uh, tinges of mathcore, and they were they were just a very different band than they are now. Um, but uh, musically, I think they're evolving. Uh, some would say they're losing a step. I wholeheartedly disagree. I thought uh, "All We Love We Leave Behind" was a fantastic album. I absolutely love that album, and this album, uh, The Dusk and Us, I hold higher than uh, All We Love We Leave Behind, personally. Um, first off, the, the opening track to this album, A Single Tear, I could not tell you a better way to open an album for Converge. That song is fucking aggressive, but melodic, it's a beautiful fucking heavy song. And, it is the best song on this album to open the album with. Um, it's not my favorite song on the album, but uh, it is definitely up there. And I don't think you could pick any of the, the rest of the songs to open this album with and have the same effect. Uh, it immediately grabs you and thrusts you into the experience. Because that's what a Converge album is. It's a fucking experience. I'm sorry, I'm really fucking thirsty. Uh, I'm not going to go track by track because I find those reviews to be somewhat boring. Um, i got uh, four songs I'm going to pinpoint, the four uh, columns of this album, if you will. And then I'm off, I have a couple quips about some other songs. But um, yeah, I want to jump right into this. Um, like I said, a single tier, great opener. Um, the next song I want to talk about, uh, jumping forward a little bit, is I Can Tell You About Pain. Like I said, this was released earlier in the year as a single, and uh, man, this song is severely pissed off. It is dripping in feedback, and it's disgustingly intense. I mean, it's very, very similar to um, kind of an Axe to Fall era Converge song for me. That's what it feels like. It's fucking in your face, and I fucking love it. Uh, it's probably my second favorite song off the album. Um, my first is the song I'm about to talk about next. And that is The Dusk and Us. I developed a nice word to describe this song to people. Uh, I describe it as a mellow banger. And uh, what that means is that it is soft and it's smooth and somber. But it's still a fucking banger of a track. Uh, clock's in almost seven minutes long and it creeps slowly slowly into heaviness and it, it's bordering on sludge and it's a fucking glorious track uh jacob's vocals are just fucking haunted and angst ridden and it's it's fucking insane how good this song is um uh by far my favorite single song of the year no without a doubt my favorite song of the year is the title track off of The Dusk and Us. So fucking good. Um, and the final song I want to talk about is Reptilian. Reptilian is the song that closes this masterpiece. Um, it starts off like it's going to be another mellow banger, but it becomes a monstrously heavy track. 
uh, just drudging, dripping, and seething. Uh, it seriously reminds me of a um, You Fail Me era convert song. It sounds like a track that was left off of that album. And that is fucking high praise. That is a fucking... Because mm. uh, You Fail Me is a fucking masterpiece of an album. Right behind Jane Doe in my eyes. And I'm sure pretty much anybody, any other Converge fan's eyes. Um, all in all, uh, Kurt's guitars and Nate's bass are fucking insane on this album. Um, they both came with full force and just fucking crushed it. Uh, there's not a single style on this album, which uh, is to their credibility. Um, they jump all over the map of the extreme spectrum and they do it fucking masterfully. Masterfully? Is that a word? I'm making it a fucking word if it's not. Ben Kohler and his drum set are fucking taxed on this album. He is going fucking bananas. And uh, Jacob's vocals. <sighs> that boy. There is so much emotion. Pure, raw emotion. And Jacob's vocals every single time he comes up to bat. It's it's insane. I cannot... I can't explain verbally how intense his vocal work is. Um... When I was doing vocals in a band, Jacob Bannon is 100% one of my idols uh, musically. He is fucking unbelievable. Um, but yeah, all the guys came and brought it, and it was fucking epic. Um, a couple of other standout tracks. Uh, Trigger, uh, very bass heavy, like a barn burner, just in your fucking face, punch to the grill. Um, cannibals. Sorry, I drank too much now. Uh, Cannibals straight up feels like a, a Jane Doe B-side, one that was left off. Um, maybe on like a 7-inch single or something. Uh, really fucking great fucking song. Uh, but it feels like from that session, very similar to the tr songs like that. Concubine, what, what have you. Uh, Under Duress seriously reminds me of a fucking Doom Rider song. And... Uh, that is also praise because I love Doom Riders. I'm sorry, a fucking ladybug just flew past me. It really weirded me out. Um, yeah. You can tell that uh, maybe it's some Doom Riders is seeping into uh, Converse. Just a, a wee bit in influence. But uh, I'm not hating on it for that. It, 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 Under Duress is a great fucking song. Very early on in the album, it's a very different tone. Um, like I said, they are all over the map on this, and it's fucking epic. <sighs> Get myself out of breath, I don't usually talk this fast. So now let's talk about the, uh, the actual album here. First off, the, uh, jacket that this thing is housed in is fucking high quality, heavy duty, very thick spine, which I appreciate. Um, I hate when I have a lot of stuff to pack into a very tight space. Uh, that's what she said. And um, yeah, these uh, thicker spined jackets really help. Um, here's the front cover. I love the fucking holographic nature of this. I thought that was a great touch. The back with the track listing, more holographicness. The artwork, again, is just fucking gorgeous. Uh, anything Jacob Bannon does, I mean, fuck. The guy's too talented for words. It's, it's, it's unfair. He's the reason I have no talent. All my talent went to him. It's, it's sad. Um, the record also comes with this 11 by 11 lyric book. All your credits here. And... Let me flip through this thing. It's kind of floppity. Song title here on the right. Lyrics there on the left. It's under dress. Wild life. And trigger. Gorgeous artwork. The whole thing. That's my favorite. I love that one. 
Yeah. A fucking amazing lyric book. Um, I, I love when bands actually do something interesting with their lyric books. It's not just a sheet or an insert. It's something cool and interesting. A nice little add-on. So that's exactly what that is, and I love it. Um, it also does come on this printed air sleeve that I'm holding. Well, great prints. Of course, more by Jacob Bannon. And I got the purple variant. A slight uh, imperfection from the pressing plant. I hadn't noticed that before. Uh, yeah, this is the purple variant. I see a lot of people with this variant. Um, I, it's, it's limited, quote unquote, to 3,000. I don't think that's much of a limitation. Uh, I think limitations are usually in the three digits, but this one technically says limited to 3,000, so that's cool. Um, yeah, um, I think personally Converge can do no wrong in my eyes. I have loved everything this band has done through their entire 27 year career. And um, I'm thrilled that they are back this year to uh, possibly top my year end list because uh, it's definitely in contention for it. And I definitely can't get this fucking thing to go in. There we go. Um, yeah. I'm not good at these reviews, that's why I don't do them very often. I feel like I just ramble and bullshit and it doesn't come out good. But I am in love with Converge. I am in love with this album. And I could not not talk about this album. So uh, there it is. It's my shitty review. First one I've done in a while. Maybe my first one since a Full of Health, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't do it very often. I, I hope, hopefully I can do more soon. Um, trying to keep up with the King, Josh Armijo, shout out. Love you, dude. Um, but, uh, yeah. Converge, the dusk in us. It's fucking glorious. Um, I'm sure by the time my year end list goes up, I will run out of adjectives to describe this album. If you are currently sleeping on this album, I would suggest you stop. Um be smart and get it it's still available you can still get it i don't care what fucking format you get it in everyone needs to listen to this album do it and do it fast um yeah converge the dusk in us this has been on the record peace